Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. You can find the link to download the zip file in the description below. You will find two folders. In start folder you will find all files you need to follow this tutorial. In the end folder you will find the final dynamo script and all related files. Open the downloaded folder. Go to start folder. I have already opened this sample project and the dynamo file which is initially empty. So go to this ceiling view and we, you will find this object called Wi-Fi access point. Mm, open this 3D view. Let's duplicate this view. Rename the view. In this view, we are going to hide unnecessary elements. Also hide this ceiling element manually. Now we are going to learn how to create heat maps in Revit. In this case, I'll show you a simple example of heat maps which shows Wi Fi signal power losses. So, now I'm going to explain you briefly the algorithm we are going to build inside Dynamo. We'll get the location of this access point. So, we are going to distribute sample points on top surface of this floor element for each point calculate the distance from the access point and finally we will apply free space power loss formula okay i will share i will share a link where you can read about this formula this article explains very well and the formula we are going to use is this one so now let's jump to dynamo look for select model element select the access point now look for select face select the top surface of the floor now look for get location hit run okay now we are going to distribute points on the surface look for point at parameter Let's create a range of points 0 to 1, 15 numbers. Set lacing to longest, sorry, cross product. So use flatten node. Now look for distance to so now look for a code block where we are going to type the formula this formula so the distance variable is in kilometer and the frequency is in gigahertz in our case we will be five and the distance we have our calculated distance we have to convert in kilometers which currently is in meters so let's type the formula
look for a code block change name to frequency look for another code block access point power frequency in gigahertz so we know that the power of access point which is 15 dBms continue the formula access point my minus so now the distance node connect here frequency access point hit run and we have calculated these values so now look for pace analysis look for this node face analysis display dot by view face points and values look for this node current document active view the surface connect here so sample locations accept uv object so let's find these uv values surface this node look for surface and this node flatten node connect here hit run and make sure you have set lacing to longest connect here now connect the output here samples look for code block in this view name wifi analysis we can add description and look for unit types set to length we have to provide this input as this will not work okay so hit run so in the revit project this has sent a data to the file which we are going to use to display in this view okay minimize this dynamo okay now go to this parameter default analysis display style click here create a new one colored surface and give a name wifi analysis and in this tab color we can choose how which color we want to show in heat map so for maximum value i want green for minimum i want red we can add more colors click in this bottom color and you can add more color so select for example this yellow color just unhide this show units and here you go you have beautiful heat map inside Revit